Hello everyone, in today's Quick Tip Extend Script tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to access compositions in all sorts of different ways. So this is going to be including selecting just the composition as an active item, finding it as a layer, as a pre-composition, and some other methods as well. So let's just dive right into it and check out how we can do this. So the first way we can do it is to just grab the active item selected. If we have an item selected, say like right here, then we can select it by saying app.project.activeItem. Um, likewise, if I had a folder in my items over here, this would now be the active item in my project. So I've just created a variable called comp, short for composition, and I'm gonna set this equal to our app.project.activeItem. Then before I run my script, I'm gonna select my composition here, and then I'm just gonna write a line that says our comp is called and then our variable comp.name, which should give us the name of our comp. So if I go ahead and run this, you can see we now get comp is called DJ intro, which in this case, our comp is indeed called the DJ intro. And just to prove that it's working, we can do something else like grab the width, and you can see this time it gives us 1280, and if we go in and check the width, sure enough, it's 1280. The next method we can use is to actually refer to items within our project. So all of our items are over here located in the project panel, we have a folder, some pre-comp files, and footage. So what I can do is actually just refer to any one of these items using one, two, three, or four as their indexes, and I should be able to get our composition. So if I just say our comp is now gonna equal app.project, and our third item, one, two, three, it should be this DJ intro clip. So if we go ahead and run the script again, you can see it's now also called DJ intro. This next example is a little bit convoluted in that I have to create another variable that's not our composition, but it is our composition. We're basically going into the composition and based on a layer, we can get the composition. So if someone just gave you a layer and said, what composition is this layer in? This function will tell you that, but otherwise it's not really useful. So I just have an item here which is referring to our DJ intro here, our composition itself. And, and then the first layer inside of it is this DJ footage right here. So our layer is gonna be this DJ footage. We'll just double check that, uh, layer.name. And you can see we're getting DJ footage. So our layer is indeed referring to this layer here. So now we have our layer. What can we do to get the actual comp it's in? Well, there's a function built in called containing comp. So we just have to take any layer and say dot containing comp, and this is gonna go up a level and give us the comp we need. So now if we just go ahead and run it, you can see we still get our DJ intro for our comp variable. And for the very last example, how do you get the composition of a pre-comp? A pre-comp is obviously a layer and it's not referring to an item necessarily. So say we had this combined pre-comp right here. If we said layer two, and then we tried to say, okay, let's change the composition settings. It's not gonna work because we're referring to the layer. So we need to know how to get the combined composition here, which we can open up separately. So the way we do this is I just have uh, the composition it's in set to the active item. So the DJ intro is its uh, uh, original comp. And then I just made a variable called pre-comp for pre-composition. That's gonna refer to this layer here. So we're gonna say comp.layer2, the second layer of our composition. And then all we need to do, assuming we know it's a pre-composition, is just grab the source. And the source is gonna to refer to the item over here. Just to prove that this works, is first we're gonna run it, and it looks like it's called combined, which is accurate. And I'm also going to grab my pre-comp variable, and I'm gonna open it in the viewer. And what this should do is open up this composition right here. So if I run it, you can see now it opens the composition itself. Because again, if I was just to use the layer called pre-comp, um, it's actually gonna just load it up like this. It's as if you double clicked on it from here. Uh, and we can't really access the layers within the composition uh, itself right here. So make sure that you refer to the source when it's a pre-composition. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for this week's quick tip tutorial. Those are a couple of ways and methods you can use to get compositions, whether you're selecting a layer or you're inside the project items panel. There are all sorts of ways you can get compositions. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.